I'm very glad to say a few things about this school on its 60th anniversary. My relationship with the school is really quite long. I remember when W.B. West came to my undergraduate school recruiting students back in the 1950s. In the summer of 1960, I came here to do a crash course. I did a 12-month master's here. Uh, that began in 1960. That's when I took my only course in missions with George Benson before going to the British Isles to work 10 years. And then later I came back unexpectedly to teach, which I did for 21 years and enjoyed it immensely. Six of those years I served as dean. And since that time I've come back many times to use the library, to see friends. Just been a long relationship with the school and I'm delighted that it's done 60 years, at least in this place here on Cherry Road. My most uh, favorable memories about being here, perhaps the most satisfying part of it, has been students. After all, that's what schools are about, is producing students who behave and serve consistently with what the purposes of the school are. I know it's uh, habitual for students to tell professor stories, but it's also nice for professors to be able to tell student stories. And I could reminisce a long time about where my students have gone just in my classes, not to mention those in counseling and church history and those other subjects. I suppose I could summarize it by saying that two or three times students have said, I really hate to think what would have happened to me if I'd gone straight from undergraduate work to working with the church or in missions without what I got here. <clears throat> That's very satisfying to a teacher. I think of students who fanned out all over the world as missionaries, men who have worked with local churches, um, people who've utilized their counseling background to keep marriages together, to prevent suicides, and just to help people to cope with life. Religious education, uh, the balanced program that seems to have been characterized here. Rule Lemons was long editor of the Firm Foundation. In his Texas drawl, he once told one of our teachers, somehow your, your guys seem to wear well. And I thought, well, that puts it well. Uh, it's been very satisfying to produce some students who wear well in their missions. And so I congratulate Harding's um, uh, administration, their board of trustees, for creating the idea of a graduate school in religion and Bible and in sustaining it over many years. Uh, it's hard to assess a thing in a short period of time. Um, in the 1960s, no one at Oxford had successfully defended a doctoral dissertation in history on anything later than World War I. Why? Enough time had not elapsed to know its long-range significance. We could say that about schools as well, but so far, it looks good. We've somehow been able to maintain our sense of scholarship and ministry and to keep our basic values the same while responding to a changing world. So on the 60th anniversary on this campus at 1000 Cherry Road, I offer my sincere congratulations and my assurances that I will continue to pray for this school. It's on my prayer list. May God bless what you do.